Bal Mandir or the Nepal Children's Organization through its well-coordinated network has soldiered the responsibility of looking after orphans and underprivileged children across the country. The organization has been well supported with infrastructures in most districts. However, the office bearers and staff have been reaping personal benefits of the resources while concerned authorities have remained a mere spectator. The current executive committee of Bal Mandir Naksal has revealed that the previous committee had leased 29 Ropanis of the 102 Ropani land belonging to the organization to Brihaspati Bidyasadan at dirt cheap price. The organization is responsible for looking after orphans and underprivileged children's shelter and education, among others. However, the then office bearers and staff had leased the organization's land for 53 years for an annual price tag of 9.6 million rupees. In 2015, the then office bearers extended the contract term even before the existing one ended and based on the new agreement, Brihaspati Bidyasadan will get to use the land till another 56 years. Meanwhile, the Brihaspati Bidyasadan has not maintained its commitment of providing free education to 20 of the organization's children. Instead, children with recommendations from the office bearers have been found reaping the benefit. Brihaspati has been paying 9.6 million rupees annually to the organization while it has subleased five ropanis of the same land to Rai School that is affiliated to the Indian Education Board for 6 million rupees annually. The misuse of resources at the hands of office bearers and staff is believed to have be begun after the amendment in the organization's regulation in 1964. The amendment campaigned by the then chairperson Rita Singh allowed transaction of the land, among others. The organization has around 1,500 rupees of land across the country, while the government provides it with 4 million rupees annually. However, the budget only supports 260 children in six of the 10 shelters of the organization. Most of the land across the country have been used by other government and private entities. In Baitari, the armed police force has established a camp in the land of Bal Mandir. Likewise, the organization's land in Rautahat, Sunsari, Kaski and Bara have been used for schools, while in Birgans, the pieces of land have been leased out to welfare shelters and religious organizations. In Kanchanpur, an executive committee member has been leasing out the organization land in the name of his wife. Meanwhile, the Gorkha branch has been registered as a private company. In Lalitpur, the organization property has been leased out to Prera Construction Service. The cases are suffice to establish that corruption has been institutionalized in Bal Mandir. Two years ago, the government formed a probe commission under former Justice Haribabu Bhattrai to investigate the abuse of the organization's resources and had removed Rita Singh as the chairperson. However, most of the decisions made during the three decades of Singh's tenure are still in effect. The Commission for the Investigation of Abuse of Authority is carrying out an investigation on all the irregularities of former office bearers and staff amid mounting call to initiate action against them.